Are these new Walmart still books a glow up or a throw up? In today's physical media news topic video, I talk about these recent 4K glow in the dark still book releases from Walmart. I get into a massive rant on why these are some of the worst designs I've ever seen in my life. And then I talk about the future of Walmart still books and glow in the dark. So let's get into this. But first, if you love collecting physical media just like me and being a part of this amazing league of mega film fans, go ahead and mega blockbust that like and subscribe. That way you stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. And leave in the comments below, what do you think of these new glow-in-the-dark Walmart steelbooks? So first, the blockbust this Walmart news of these 4K glow-in-the-dark steelbook announcements. And we're getting four titles here. We are getting Dune Part 1. We are getting Battlestar Galactica, Godzilla vs. Kong, and Fast X because it's all about family at Walmart, of course. But this is kind of a random mixture of titles here. I don't know why they chose all these titles specifically. I don't get why Battlestar Galactica is here at all. And then, of course, you do have Dune Part 1, I guess, for cross-marketing with Dune Part 2 that just came out. So that makes a little bit more sense. I guess you got Godzilla vs. Kong in there because we got a new Godzilla and Kong movie on the horizon. And then you got Fast X because it's a popular franchise and I'm sure a fast movie will come out sooner rather than later to continue on the franchise but still a little random mixture of titles here they're glow in the dark editions that's really the gimmick here there's no new art design for most of these it's things we've seen pretty much before that they've used on other physical media releases of these titles so the art designs are a little bit lackluster in my opinion you're getting the 4ks and blu-rays in here you're only getting the digital code for fast x not sure why the other ones don't have the digital codes here at all but really they're trying to sell you on it being glow in the dark slap a glow in the dark sticker on there and there you go so it just depends if you pick these ones up before but those are kind of the details on these releases but now i gotta get into a massive rant on why i just don't like how these were released and the strategy behind it all so now to get into this rant on these steelbooks that are very gimmicky. They're trying to sell you on them with just them being glow in the dark. Ooh, glowy. I'm just so disappointed in these announcements here, these steelbooks. I'm just, I don't like this. I know they've came out February 27th, so some people probably already picked them up. But the designs here are just not great. Like, look at the artistic design on some of these. They're just what they've used before for the most part. And just some of these designs are not so good overall. Very plain, very boring. And I was lucky enough to get the 4K steelbook from Best Buy when it got discounted to $9.99. And I actually thought that design was way cooler than the glow in the dark one at the very least. This one actually, I really like the colors it pops on here. It got me interested in picking up this movie. They could have done $20 on these. That would have made a lot of sense. I think that would have been a good value for people that missed out on them at Best Buy. So that would have been a cool thing for Walmart to do. But for them to be kind of priced like a new still book just doesn't get me super excited, especially with the so terrible designs on some of these. And just the titles they picked, so, so weird, right? If you want all the fast movies to look the same, why would you get this one glow in the dark? So now diving into Walmart's future with glow in the dark, what are they going to do with still books here? I really hope this doesn't become a permanent trend where it's let's just focus on re-releases. Let's put everything glow in the dark. I'd rather see more titles come out to 4K, more titles come out to a new still book, things we haven't seen before. And that would have been a better focus, I think, for Walmart. I hate them just re-releasing, re-releasing. There's so many cool titles out there that haven't made the jump to 4K, let alone Blu-ray. Give me some cool Blu-ray still books with titles that have only been on DVD before. Like, give me something like that, something different, something that would entice me more so than these kind of lackluster, just no effort type of 4K still book, glow in the dark releases. Just all gimmick, in my opinion. Don't really want to get them myself. Now, if you love them, then go for it. If they're cool to you, then it works for you. Spend your money how you'd like. They just don't work for me. So I'm going to skip out on these personally. I don't know if these are going to sell well in general. If they sell well, they're probably going to do a lot more. If they don't sell so well, they'll probably stop this trend. 
Let's see what happens with this. But you guys will have to let me know in the comments below. Are you picking up these glow in the dark still books? Have you already done so? And also, of course, go ahead and mega blockbust that like and subscribe if you haven't already. That way you stay entertained and up to date on all these recent physical media topics. And if you love this physical media topic, blockbust the next one right now. And thank you so much, my mega membership supporters.